off to the post office. We got a message that there is a package there for me and I am going to pick it up. So let's drive into town. to do a quick unboxing video of my hook and needle 2020 holiday survival kit. I drove into town a little while ago and picked it up and I'm excited to see what's in here. I've cut the, um, the tape but I haven't opened it. It's here. Ooh, very mysterious and it has my name. It says K. And then here it says Merry Christmas. Let's see what it says. Oh, it's a little snowman. And it says, it was so fun shopping for you. We hope you enjoy all your treats and this holiday season. It's from Hook and Needle, Christy and Lauren. So this is the card. And then a little note. Sweet. Wishing you a holiday packed full of small delights. From the Hook and Needle. It says, thank you for shopping with us. We hope you have happy holidays. Um, and it gives some um, information to tag them for the Maryville Yard Studio. So, Hook and Needle. All right. Let's get in here. Ooh. Oh, I think she's Oh, nicely. Let me see if I can change the camera angle so you can see a little more what's in here. Well, first of all, let me just hold this up. It's a natural, it's called Antler from Mad Tosh. Uh, Tosh Marino Light. And it is... 100% merino, 120 yards per, I'm assuming it's 100 grams. I don't see it, but I'm sure that's what it is. And when I signed up, I could ask for warm colors, cool colors, or neutrals, and I went for neutrals. Can't get much more neutral than that. It's really pretty, though. Soft gray. All right. Let's see if I can aim this camera down so... 12 days of, oh, you open one per day. Okay, 12 days of Christmas. So when do I start And a bonus? All right. I'm not sure when people are going to be opening these. Hmm. Starting now or starting after Christmas? I probably should wait. I'm gonna kind of show you that. I think I might actually wait and open these between Christmas and, what's it called? Rock Day, which is a spinning thing. So underneath, there is a pattern, Lionberry, a shawl pattern. So it uses a skein of Madeline Tosh Dandelion, which is actually not this. This is more of a fingering. Uh, but anyway, the pattern. Say lionberry. There we go. So I love how these are packaged. It's so pretty. I need to check and see if people are going to start.
start these now or later. This one's day one. Definitely feels interesting. How pretty is this? So I will get back to you soon. I'll let you know for sure if I'm gonna go ahead and start opening stuff. Whoops. Or if we will do thing is crooked. Um, go ahead and start opening stuff or if I will uh, wait until after Christmas. But anyway, I'm excited to see this. All right, hi Bentley. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Hi, good evening. It is day eight of Vlogmas. I'm Kay and welcome. I have had a fairly busy day and errand to run and um, just various school things to do. My um, youngest daughter is still homeschooled so we had a little bit of stuff that we had to do today and I got almost no knitting done a little bit while I was making dinner but um, my plan tonight is to snuggle in and watch some TV probably sitting on the couch. And um, I think we're gonna watch Oak Island. What's it called? Secret of Oak Island? Something like that. A reality show treasure hunt kind of thing. And we've enjoyed it for a few years. So I think that's what we're gonna watch tonight. And hopefully I'll get some knitting done then. Uh, I have a gift to wrap tonight. And then tomorrow I have a quilting lesson. So I'm going to a lady's house who lives not that far from here. It's like 10 minutes from here, which is pretty unusual. Not that many things are that close to me, but I'll be doing that um, uh, in the morning. Before we go tonight, I do want to read another short passage from a Christmas carol. Picked it out a little while ago. Okay, this is uh, the spirit of Christmas present is taking Scrooge around and they're looking at uh, things going on in the city. Soon the steeples called good people all to church and chapel and away they came flocking through the streets in their best clothes and with their gayest faces and at the same time there emerged from scores of by streets lanes and nameless turnings innumerable people carrying their dinners to the baker's shops. The sight of these poor revelers appeared to interest the spirit very much for he stood with Scrooge beside him in a baker's doorway and taking off the covers as their bearers passed, sprinkled incense on their dinners from his torch. And it was a very uncommon kind of torch, for once or twice when there were angry words between some dinner carriers who had jostled each other, he shed a few drops of water on them and their good humor was restored directly. For they said, it was a shame to quarrel upon Christmas day. And so it was, God love it, so it was. In time, the bells ceased and the bakers were shut up, and yet there was a genial shadowing forth of all these dinners and the progress of their cooking in the thawed blotch of wet above each baker's oven, where the pavement smoked as if its stones were cooking too. Is there a peculiar flavor in what you sprinkle from your torch? asked Scrooge. There is, my own. Would it apply to any kind of dinner on this day? asked Scrooge to any kindly given, to a poor one most. Why to a poor one most? asked Scrooge. Because it needs it most. Well, I hope that you are having a lovely Advent season and I hope that you are staying safe and well and we will chat again soon. Merry Christmas.